uh, 3.0 TFSI engine, which is come with the dual injectors. Lots of potentials this engine with the good modifications. Uh, one of them will be ported, supercharged and modified. The thing is, it's really big difference between first generation and second one. I'll just point you what exactly is the difference. So pretty much this old inlet over here, right? For the fresh air coming in. We have a bypass. So this is the first big difference. In this particular model, the bypass wall, it's completely closed. So all the air returning from the supercharge flows right through here and out in the inside the, the compressor area which is give us really big restriction flow of the air as you can see right whatever you see the mark uh, i just put it that's what i'm going to remove so this will completely get removed uh, for the purpose to do that uh, add a little bit more cfm better airflow, better breed for the supercharge. <clears throat> the only issue is if I remove this wall, I'm gonna have a hole over here. So that's why this will get weld, TIG weld filled all the way to the surface of the supercharge. So it's gonna be weld on here. Then I have to everything in this area, I have to cut everything out. So yeah, this side is gonna be like over here, plus we gotta cut it in there. A little bit, you know, all around it. <clears throat> That's the, the biggest difference between those two supercharge. Uh, second one will be, let me just move around. I'll show you later. You can see from this side. So it's pretty much all this area over there. It's a big restriction. So we gotta take all this meat out and it's gonna be a lot better pass for the air. As you can see, I have mark over here. We have plenty room for uh, near the compressor area to take it out as well. So we gotta take from the both side, left and right. Then we go from the top, we gotta open up uh, discharge or whatever the, the comp uh, compressor air is coming out. Can open up a little bit and smooth everything out. You don't have to touch anything this side, just over there. So everything in the middle get out. Uh, another big difference is uh, the height. I height the uh, compressor itself, right? All this rear, it's about half an inch or three quarter, much taller. So that means it's uh, more, more compressed air while it's going to be inside the supercharge, which is really good thing for high RPMs or, you know, uh, more power, of course. So, yeah, pretty much that's it. That's all I'm going to do. It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of modification stuff. Also, I came up with my... I'm gonna do a couple cars. Actually, one car is doing right now my friend in Russia. Intercoolers. We came up with this idea. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna use this front uh, is original with the plastic two tubes. Yes, you have two tubes and coming in here. So it's gonna supply the water, both of them. And the bottom and the top, it's gonna supply the water. And I'm gonna remove this nicely and I'm gonna put the fitting in here. So this is gonna be one way pass through. So exit of the water is gonna be in the back of the supercharge. Should add at least 20, 30% of the efficiency of the cooling. And plus these uh, intercoolers are already bigger than uh, first generation. I think I had this in my previous video. Just wanna show you. Yeah, you can clearly see it's a little taller by uh, how much by this. All right, 
Oops, my bad. It's about one inch. Yeah, I mean it's a little bit, but still, well, better to have it. Better than nothing. So that's what I'm gonna do with this supercharge. This supercharge will go to Russia uh, for Audi A7, and uh, the guy gonna get custom tuned. I'm not sure yet uh, who's gonna do this. Most likely IPR ultra charger. So yeah, we are about to see this. Hey, so we got here uh, supercharger, second generation, crack. Uh, as you know, I never see anybody <coughs> do the porting work. So I'm doing this for my buddy um, in Russia. So uh, he was asking me if I can port it. I said, you know what, what the hell, let's try. So this is gonna be my first porting job for the compressor. And uh, this is actually, I'm gonna repeat, this is the crack motor, the last generation. So I work a little bit on this side for a bit today. I still have to do a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna work on the, the this support next time. I'm gonna take half of it at least. So, you know, it's not gonna do much restriction. It didn't do anything in this side yet. So pretty much, actually you can compare this side and this side, right? You can see it's uh, a lot more open. Hopefully this will help. And um, yeah. Uh, as you know, this supercharge comes with a bypass wall. It's a little bit different it's than first generation. So to do this kind of work, you have to customize and require TIG welding work as well. It's not that crazy. You just have to fill the the hole in, uh, underneath the supercharge. I'll show you. This is making this video just for in case if anybody wondering how I do or they planning to do something similar. Uh, to tell you right away, this is lots of time, lots of grinding, and it's in it lots of patience <laughs> for this kind of job. So yeah, here it is. It used to be like a empty uh, space in here because of the, the super, I mean, bypass valve was goes like an angle 90 and up so uh, you have to fill that for sure to remove the wall i'm gonna come there in a second and show you which wall i'm talking about Whew, sorry guys I'm trying to do my best in explaining trying to don't shake a lot the bed supercharge all right so yeah as you can see let me put the light in there as you can see right now, pretty much it looks like a, almost like a first generation. Everything is around open. I still have to clean this on the bottom. I didn't take all the way down yet, but it's pretty close though. I take a lot on the side over here, take a lot on the side over here. I remove on the bottom over here already a lot. So it's pretty much a lot, a lot more uh opening for coming in fresh air supposedly you know give more cfm for sure the way it is right now and uh yeah i'm gonna open up this in the bottom corner here as well more so i'm gonna go all around it gotta remove this support in the middle i'm, I'm gonna keep a little bit but half of it definitely gonna go out. So I'm gonna, you know, little by little, open up a little bit all around the supercharge. It's this walls, it's not really much you can take it out. It's not that thick. So I would say this in the back all area, just, you know, go easy. This one in the top, yeah, you can take it out. It's same thing actually, go easy. 
you like in cereal spots you have to just you know use a finger the thickness and um uh, and that's it you know go by feeling most of them you have to open up this side and and the one over there i just show you from the beginning the corners right if you can see the difference this side and this side and also top as you see the the marker i put it i'm gonna open up this one more so that way same thing is gonna go through more cfm and better flow for compressed air to the top all right uh where else i think i go over everything the this is the one piece of the uh the wall i was talking about the bypass wall it used to be in here inside over there it's pretty thick it's really hard if you want to grind this thing it's gonna take forever so i grind half of it and then i cut the saws carefully you know and it looks like you see it saved me about like maybe hour job to grind that thing oh <laughs>